Howdy, Howdy Ramblers. Ramblers. I'm Amber. And I am Eric. And we're Ramblin' Bears. And this is Bear Bulletins, number five. This is where we dig through the trash bins of the internet to find you the tastiest morsels and bits about outdoor and adventure news. And to get us started right away, uh, Ford has announced and will be rolling out its all-electric Ford Focus. Um, and this is interesting because it comes right alongside... Uh, the regular gasoline focus and some analysts think that'll be really great uh, for helping consumers see the uh, difference in cost between the electric and the gas car the the uh, potential savings over time you know versus the initial investment uh, others uh, think that uh, ground up electric cars like the Nissan Leaf or a new car on its way from BMW uh, really can offer consumers better um, performance and uh, that kind of thing uh, but it will be interesting to see how people react to having electric be an option uh, much like you know an automatic transmission or a regular transmission or a v6 versus a four-cylinder or something like that uh, but uh, they are expensive batteries are still the main cost and uh, actually that means that most of the hybrids will be a little cheaper than the electric cars because they don't need quite as many batteries. Yeah. Ever dreamt of owning your own baby elephant? I mean, really baby elephant? Well, back in the day, apparently such a thing used to exist. Now, we've always known about miniature woolly mammoths, but researchers have recently discovered that there was actually a smaller mammoth than the known small dwarf mammoths that have been found today. The mini mammoth weighed about 300 kilograms, which is actually half the weight of the previous known smallest dwarf mammoth. Uh, and that basically adds up to about the size of a present day baby Asian elephant. Uh, researchers have determined that it actually is an extreme dwarf. That's what they call it. And what they did was they, um, they just did some tests on the fossils. And as soon as they could figure out exactly what species it was, then they tested the dental teeth fossils to determine that it actually was indeed one of the earliest and smallest woolly mammoths ever found. Pretty exciting stuff. Wow, I wonder if uh, being on Crete, um, it, it shrank because of island isolation, which happens it, it quite does, a bit. It did say that that could have possibly played an effect, uh, but they're still working on proving that at this time. In more good environment news, uh, NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration in the U.S., uh, released their 2011 fishery stocks report and found that uh, in some several fisheries had recovered uh, quite well. Yeah, cool. um, of the 258 fishery stocks tracked, 14% were subject to overfishing, uh, meaning that too many fish may have been taken out, and 21% were classified as overfished, meaning that either this year or the previous year overfishing occurred and the stocks are depleted past where they should be. Mm. Uh, both of these numbers improved over the previous year. Uh, four less stocks were subject to overfishing, and six stocks were classified as rebuilt, and that includes stocks from all different regions of our coastal waters, uh, but especially I wanted to just point out Chinook and Coho Salmon wow. in the Pacific Northwest. Good stuff. And uh, NOAA sees this as a positive indicator, and it seems like uh, management can uh, possibly help make our fisheries more sustainable. That's great news for fishing season. So in more outdoor news today, there was a story of two men who were arrested for making deadly booby traps and setting them on a popular hiking trail in Utah. What happened was um, one of the U.S. Forest Service officers was just on foot patrol one day and noticed a trip wire going across the path. So he basically set it off with something besides his foot, and it turned out to be literally medieval style weapons that were rigged up to hurt people. They had a swinging spiked ball that was supposed to come and smack the person if they had gotten that tripwire. And there was also a pit that they could have fallen in onto like self whittled spiked uh, sticks, which was kind of scary. So the officer who found this actually posted the story on Facebook. And when he posted that asking for tips, anonymous tipsters started coming out of the woodworks uh, and eyewitnesses. So they arrested a 19 and 20 year old uh, Utah men for this crime. Wow, mm, that's kind of scary. Yeah. Well, a little bit more lighthearted news. Uh, brain scans, the first active brain scans of dogs have uh, been produced, and this is part of a project by Emory University researcher Gregory Burns, mm. who got the idea after hearing about uh, dogs on the SEAL team that raided the Osama, Osama bin Laden compound. His thought was if they can jump out of a helicopter then we can surely train a dog to sit in an fMRI machine which stands for functional MRI. It's a type of 
real-time scanner that shows activity, not just you know, your normal MRI uh, from the hospital or a medical center. They gave the dogs a promise of a treat through hand signals, and when they were given the treat hand signal, it activated a region in the brain that's also known to be a reward center in humans, and when they gave them the other hand signal, it uh, didn't activate that. The success of this project opens the door to a lot more experiments in the future uh, that could really tell us more about animal cognition uh, and social cognition in animals. In the next piece of Earth News we have, we have some really exciting conservation information. The rarest form of gorilla was actually spotted in a camera video trap in the wild in its natural habitat, which is really rare and unheard of. Uh, there are fewer than 250 cross river gorillas, that's the type of gorilla it is, and that even remain in the world mostly due to human intervention, which is the sad part. Um, the government of an area called Cameroon established a sanctuary for these gorillas in 2008, uh, and it's definitely supported by the locals and everyone around there. Uh, and they monitor the Cross River gorillas, but they're really hard to spot because they're really good at kind of staying under the ra radar and coming out at night and sticking with themselves. Um, so there's now increased patrolling in that region where those gorillas are to help protect them uh, and to keep them from catching in human set snares and traps and hurting themselves. Mm, it, just like in Utah. Just like in Utah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, in the uh, video that was found of these gorillas, uh, the video the video shows the gorillas coming up to the camera and not really seeing it at first, but then the male lead, like what would be equivalent to the silverback or alpha male, sees the camera and charges it, hitting his chest Tarzan style, which is super exciting for everybody because they didn't think they were going to see such activity from these gorillas. So it looks like they're doing well, they're starting to repopulate, and hopefully we'll see a comeback. Well, that about wraps up this Bear Bulletin. You'll find all of these links uh, down in the description. Yep, and if you have a comment about any of the news stories you heard, leave it below. You can also subscribe to us on YouTube, like us on Facebook, or follow us on Twitter. Yeah, and until next time, ramble, ramble on. on.